This is question number 14 and we are told the molar enthalpy of solution for potassium sulfate is positive 23.8 kJ. Part A. On the axis provided, draw a labeled diagram level, draw a labeled energy level diagram for the dissolution process of potassium sulfate in water. Uh, so since we have been given the uh, molar energy, uh, which is 20, positive 23.8, uh, we will start here and we draw uh, the energy level there. Then uh, we have the activation energy rises. Uh, so once it rises, we have uh, a curved part here. And then we have uh, that one energy level coming down then we have a horizontal energy like that so here uh, we have potassium sulfate that is uh, k2so4 uh, plus water uh, from there uh, we have here we have potassium sulfate uh, in aqueous and we have sulfate ions so so4 uh, ions that is uh, two minus and it is aqueous form uh, aqueous form uh, here we can label the activation energy we can say this is a uh, we have that that uh, so here we have uh, we draw the activation energy uh, so this is uh, activation energy energy and this is the heat solution uh, we can draw an, uh, the heat solution here. This level represents the heat solution. Uh, so this is heat of solution. Uh, so here we can uh, also have, uh, so with this is potassium sulfate. which is aqueous and uh, here we have a change in heat so that is how you make your diagram uh, and you'll be able to get two marks part b we have uh, calculate the end up change when 5.22 grams of potassium sulfate is completely dissolved in water uh, so we have potassium we have that 9.0 we have sulf uh, sul sulfate sulfur uh, we have that 2.0 and we have oxygen 16 uh, that is uh, so we say uh, uh, relative molecular uh, rfm we have it is equals to uh, relative molecular mass we have of uh, pot uh, potassium sulfate is equals to 174 so you add up we have 2 so that the 9 uh, we have s that is that 2 we have 4 uh, times 16 that will give you 174 so we have moles of uh, potassium sulfate is equals to uh, we have a uh, number of grams of potassium sulfate 5.22 uh, you divide by relative uh, molecular mass which is uh, 174 and uh, when you divide that you get it is 0 0.03 so change in enthalpy uh, is equals to uh, 0 
you multiply by 23 uh, which we have been given up there uh, as our enthalpy, uh, molar enthalpy that is 23.8 and that should give you uh, 0.714 uh, kilojoules so that is how we work out that uh, so that is a change in enthalpy and you'll be able to get one mark so in total you'll be able to get three marks